Daniar Yelusinov versus Julius Indongo. Who do you guys think is going to win this fight? Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, like I was saying, Daniar Lusinov will be fighting Julius Indongo this Friday on the 27th of November. November 27, 2020 over in Hollywood, Florida in the undercard of... Uh, Daniel Jacobs versus Gabriel Rosado fight will be shown live over here in the United States of America on the zone so tune into the zone if you want to see this fight here in the States and um, yeah this fight's a good one it's a very good fight uh, definitely the toughest fight of Daniel Yelusinov in his uh, professional career uh, a little bit more about Yelusinov and Indongo if you guys don't know who he is but let's go with uh, Daniel first um, currently undefeated 29 years old from Kazakhstan, same place, same country where uh, Triple G is from. Undefeated, 9 wins, 0 losses, 5 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. If you look at his resume, you know, short career, turned pro in 20, 2018. Only has been a pro for 2 years. Um, hasn't fought at all this year in 2020. Uh, last time he was in the ring was against Alan Sanchez back in December of 2019. And now here he is fighting in Dongo. And apparently the IBF, the vacant IBF Intercontinental welterweight title will be on the line this fight. I didn't know that. Um, and yeah, and he's also a former Olympian. He actually is the former gold medalist for the 2016 uh, Olympic Games. So that tells you the background that... Um, Daniel Yelusinov has as an amateur. Actually, let's see right now because BoxRec shows your amateur background. Let's look at his amateur background real quick. Um, so 56 and 11, his amateur background. And like I said, Rio Games beat Josh Kelly in the Rio Games. Interesting. Um, if you look at his World Series record, he fought three times in the World Series. Huh. So yeah, he's you know he has a pretty good uh, amateur background. Pretty good amateur background. Um, Julius Indongo, on the other hand, if you guys don't know who he is, he is a 37 year old fighter from Namibia. 23 wins, two losses, 12 wins come by way of knockout TKO. His two losses came from very good fighters, and those are against Terence Crawford when Crawford became undisputed at 140 pounds, and Redis Pro Gray back in 2018. He was able to rebound against the Pro Gray fight against uh, this fighter named Carl Vius Jones Johnson. Honestly, never heard of him, but he stopped him in two rounds. And now here he is fighting at 147. Um, yeah, his fights at 140 is what he's known for, especially this one, man. If you haven't seen the Edward Trajanovsky knockout, -hoo 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 -hoo, you missed out on that knockout, man. That was a big upset in my opinion. That was a big upset, but Indongo is a very dangerous fighter. At the age of 37 years old, that height and reach is uh, a problem to a lot of fighters. And it will be interesting to see how Daniar can uh, nullify uh, Indongo's height and reach and speed. Um, so when it comes to talking about who will win this fight, I'm biased on this one, to be honest. Because I, I want Daniar to win. I feel like he has the potential to be a big name in the sport of boxing um you know I, i'm i'm behind him all the way i think he has what it takes to become a world champion one of these days so i'm rooting for him and i think he he will win like i said i'm biased i think he will win i think his amateur background will help him a lot in this fight um his experience that he's had in the amateurs will help him uh beat indongo indongo right now 147 I'm not sure how his power will come up at 147 and at the age of 37 years old. You know, it's it's a little questionable after not fighting a year since uh, you know, since he last fought more than a, more than a year, I should say. So, I think Daniel got this. I think the youth and experience of Daniel as an amateur will will definitely help him win this fight. But it's a, it's a tough one. It's a competitive fight. Julius Ndongo is definitely someone not to underestimate, he has the skill set to be um, on top of the world again. Um, 
you know, thinking about it rationally, uh, Indongo definitely has a chance to pull it off, and I won't be surprised if he does. But at the same time, I, I really just want to see Daniel pull off a win, and I hope he, he, he wins in a spectacular way. But, you know, it's a sport of boxing for you. You never know what will happen, right? Anything's possible. I'm um, going with Danny Yar by unanimous decision. I think it's scheduled for 12 rounds, I believe. I mean, the Intercontinental title's on the line, so I think it will be for 12. Eight rounds to four in favor of Danny Yar. Seven rounds to five, eight rounds to four. It's going to be close. It's going to be close, but I, I think Danny Yar has what it takes. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Do not forget to hit that like button. If you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't yet, please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.